first used to go to the theatre and I used to go and watch his plays um, at Windsor Theatre, which is my local theatre when I was about 16, 17. And uh, he used to write these marriages, you know, these kind of uh, extraordinarily unhappy but very funny marriages. And I used to you know, see that. I, I mean, how this man, you know, how does he, how does he get inside these people's heads and, uh, and make us laugh but also have sympathy for the characters? Um, these appalling people sometimes. And uh, you sort of find yourself laughing at things. You think, oh, I really shouldn't be laughing at that. It's terrible. And uh, he does that better than anybody. Um, so then I went to drama school, and uh, uh, then I auditioned for him. And uh, I was just so, it's such a thrill to work for him still. I know mean, this will be the sixth and seventh, sixth and seventh play I've, I've done with him. I've sort of worked with him in London and uh, Northampton and tours with him. And uh, he's, he's, a, he's a brilliant director as well. I think he's an under, really under, well, not say underrated director, but he's, you know, he's a fan known for his playwriting, but he's a fabulous director as well, and he sort of directs plays in a very gentle way, and he'll sort of tell you a little story about something, and halfway through the story you think, oh, actually, I think he might be giving me a note here about that scene. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you li you've got to listen to everything he says. Um, and the whole thing's a lovely experience. I mean, we're rehearsing here at the house, and we can see the sea from the, from the rehearsal room, and it's just... <laughs> Brilliant. You know, what, what a way to work, what a place to work, you know. We're, we're also blessed to be here. Um, and uh, his new play as well, Neighbourhood Watch, which we're all doing, which is very funny. Um, so all of us are doing both plays. Um, so, yeah, very exciting. Yes, I mean, it's obviously uh, uh, the play's uh, based on um, Uncle Vanya, uh, which is obviously set in uh, Russia, 1880s. And Arne Aitborn has adapted it and set it in 1935 in the Lake District. Um, so it's still the same characters, uh, but the names have changed. So when you now go on, and you don't have to say, ah, Ili Yavnovich Vilelkilov, which takes about 50, you can just say, hi, Ash. You know, so it saves a lot of time, um, which I think is a good thing. Marcus has um, been uh, running uh, the estate. Um, uh, his, his sister uh, died and um, she's been left the estate and he's running it for his uh, brother-in-law um, so for 25 years he's kind of been managing that and sending all the proceeds to the professor his, his brother-in-law who's uh, this great man of learning or so he thinks uh, while he just kind of you know lives on a pauper's salary really um, and he's 47 years old, and uh, when his brother-in-law comes back, having retired to the estate with his beautiful new wife, he sort of realises that the professor isn't what he thought he was, and uh, isn't really this great man. And, uh, and he, it, being 47, and seeing that he's wasted his life for, you know, for for this man, it, it kind of sort of hits him, and I, this man's married to this beautiful woman, and uh, it's kind of he it sort of has a midlife crisis, really, and kind of uh, realizes that his life's just been unfulfilled. Um, I think there's a lot of that in all the characters. They kind of are living a very sort of desperate, bored life, and uh, they haven't achieved what they wanted to achieve. I think there's, uh, I think you can recognise that. Um, yourself and all of the characters, you know, just the kind of mundanity of life, really, and, uh, <laughs> oh, it it's so depressing. It sounds terribly yeah, dreary and really, depressing. Well, it's, you know, it's Chekhov. Um, it's slow. Um, but there's humour, you know, um, well, you know, we don't all achieve in life what we, we set out to achieve, and I think that's, I think, you know, the audience will see that in themselves, I think some of them.